Once in a small village nestled amidst lush green valleys, there lived a wise old master named Koji. He was renowned for his serene and tranquil demeanor, always radiating an aura of inner peace. Villagers from far and wide sought his guidance in times of distress, knowing that he possessed the art of non-reaction. One day, a young man named Ryu arrived at the village, seeking wisdom from the revered master. He was ambitious and had lofty dreams of achieving greatness. As he approached Koji's modest hut, he couldn't help but notice how composed and unaffected the old master seemed, even amidst the chaos of the world. Curiosity getting the better of him, Ryu inquired, Master Koji, I have come seeking guidance on how to succeed in life and rise above the challenges that come my way. How do you always remain so calm and unperturbed? Koji smiled warmly, inviting Ryu to sit with him under a blossoming cherry tree. Dear Ryu, he began, I have learned the art of non-reaction, which is at the heart of finding true peace and contentment. Let me share a story with you. Once, in a neighboring village, there was a skilled archer named Hiro. He was renowned for his accuracy, and people often came to see him practice. One day, a brash young archer from a distant land visited Hiro. Eager to showcase his own skills, the young archer challenged Hiro to a contest. The rules were simple, each archer would take turns shooting an arrow at a tiny, distant target. The one who hit the bullseye more times would be declared the victor. As the contest began, the young archer quickly struck the bullseye with his first arrow, and the crowd gasped in amazement. But Hiro remained calm, focused, and composed. He approached the line to take his turn. With unwavering precision, he shot his arrow and hit the exact same spot on the young archer's arrow, splitting it in half. The crowd erupted in astonishment. The young archer, taken aback by this display of skill, became angry and agitated. He demanded another round, hoping to prove himself. Hiro, however, simply smiled and declined, recognizing the futility of engaging in an ego-driven battle. Master Koji turned to Ryu and said, You see, dear Ryu, the art of non-reaction is not about suppressing emotions or avoiding challenges. It is about acknowledging the situation and choosing not to be ruled by its emotional impact. Just like Hiro, who knew that responding to the young archer's provocation would serve no purpose, we must learn to maintain our inner calm and composure, especially in the face of adversity. Ryu pondered over Koji's words and realized the wisdom they held. He spent several days in the village, learning from the master and observing his non-reactive approach to life. With time, Ryu began to implement these teachings in his own life, finding inner peace and balance. In time, word spread of the wise old master and his disciple, Ryu, who had transformed into a patient, focused, and successful individual. Villagers from near and far flocked to Koji's hut to learn the art of non-reaction and embrace the path of true enlightenment. And so, the village became a haven for those seeking solace, guided by Koji's timeless teachings on the art of non-reaction, a powerful reminder that in remaining calm and centered, one can navigate the journey of life with grace and wisdom.